Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the special Facebook Live broadcast live from the northwestern corner of the Great Kruger National Park in South Africa. That is a leopard, Karula. My name is James Henry. Viam's on camera. And for the next ten minutes, we're going to be with you live with this leopard. Hopefully, she's on the hunt. Now, you can get hold of us in the comments section of this broadcast. And while I watch her, let me tell you that my colleague Brent is out with this leopard's daughter. He's on foot with her at the moment. She's sitting in a tree and he's snuck up and he's viewing her on foot. If you want to see how that's playing out, wildsafarilive.com is the place to be. Or just Google Safari Live on Google, obviously. And then you will find the stream that suits you best. This is a 13-year-old leopard called Karula. She is our favorite, favorite leopard. We've been watching her for many years now. She's on the hunt trying to feed her youngsters again. Not easy work. Her youngsters are a year old. They're still dependent on her and one of them waiting in a tree with Brent, like I say, for her to come home and feed them. Constantly hungry, constantly in need of food. Hello, Janet. You say she's gorgeous. She is very gorgeous indeed. And that is why we spend such a great deal of time, of course, around these leopards. They are so very gorgeous. Now, what I'm going to try and do in the next minute or so is move around to the other side of her, just so that we don't have quite a, such a bottom view. Now, Stephanie, while we move around, you want to know what the weaning period is for leopards. Normally about three months only, so they only suckle for three months. They'll start eating titbits of meat a little bit earlier than that. I'm just going to try and get in here so we don't make too much noise. Oh, that's beautiful. Let's, sorry, let's just have a quick shot of that. That's gorgeous. Now, we do this every single day from 5 o'clock, half past 5 to half past 8 in the morning at Central African time, 4 to 7 in the evening Central African time. And then also on Sunday evenings, Nat Geo Wild, 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we've been doing an eight-week series. We're on episode 7 this coming Sunday, so that's Nat Geo Wild, Eastern Standard Time, 11 p.m. Sunday evenings. And... On the TV show, we have four feeds, two drives, a walk, and a kind of museum set. Now, Rob, you're wondering her favorite target. What would it be from here? Anything sort of under the size of about, well, anything up to about 70 kilograms, which, of course, is about 150 pounds or so, would be what she'd go for. I'm just trying to ease through here. Oh, that's lovely. Let's have a look here. Isn't that beautiful? Just stunning, stunning stuff. I mean, you couldn't, you couldn't paint a picture like that if you tried, could you? Well, some of you might be able to, I can't. That is the quintessential African leopard shot. Now she's using this termite mound as a vantage and she's just framed there by a fairly ominous looking black sky. But when it's lit up by the setting sun in front of her, it's just quite spectacular. And that grass blowing beautifully there is called the feathered chlorus. Now Herrera, you're wondering if feeding them would disrupt the balance of things. Absolutely it would. It would certainly disrupt the balance of things. It would be an absolute disaster to try and feed them. These animals are definitely not um, able to be fed. And out here, that's a real problem. If people do do that, these animals start to lose their wildness completely. All right, let's move quickly. This is very exciting. That was beautiful. Oh dear. Oh dear. Hold on everyone. I'm sure she's gone back down onto the road and she's been using this for vantage. 
Marilyn, you're wondering what their lifespan is. Marilyn, the lifespan of a leopard out here is probably only about 13 years. Or not 13 years, sorry, about up to, up to about 17 or 18 for a female. But that would be very old. There she is, she's just going down the road. <laughs> Sherry, you're wondering if leopards purr. No, Sherry, leopards don't purr at all. Look, she spotted something. They don't have the mechanism to purr in the same way the domestic cats do. The biggest cat that can purr is a cheetah. Isn't that beautiful? Wonderful stuff. Okay, let's carry on. Now, I say she's marking her territory. She just put a little bit of urine onto a tree around here, and it really does smell like buttered popcorn. Now, Bob, along the same lines as the feeding question, you say, is habituation of leopards a terrible thing? Bob, I think that for wild animals, habituation is the best thing. Now, let me just quickly describe what I mean. Habituation, of course, means allowing them to get used to our presence so they're not affected by us, so that they carry on with their wild lives and ignore us being around them. I'll tell you why I think it's crucial. I think it's crucial because it allows us to view them, it allows us to watch them in their natural state, so we can learn more about them and learn more about them for their conservation. But crucially also, it allows us to attach ourselves to their characters. And through a product like this, through Safari Live, what we do is we give people a taste of these animals almost on a daily basis. And so they become completely attached to them, almost like you do to the characters in a soap opera. But through falling in love with an animal like Karula, who is probably the most famous leopard in the world, and I mean that, she's probably the most famous leopard in all the world because she's viewed by thousands of people every single day. Because of her, and because of her habituation and her comfort with human beings, it means that more and more people are becoming interested in leopard conservation, in how we can help them, in their issues that associate with their habitat. And through an iconic species like this, of course, by default, people will become interested in the conservation of their food species, the impala, the habitat in which the impala leave, the dica, the stienbok, all the other antelope species that live around here. Then somebody might say, well, the leopards here, what about lions? Well, we view lions as well, and our lions are equally important and habituated characters. Now, you see, without this habituation, we have a situation where animals are completely unfamiliar to the vast majority of humanity. And that means that when we say we need to protect a species, we need to protect a habitat, no one can really understand that. So you can imagine going into uh, the city center of a major town or a major country where nobody's got any idea about what a leopard is. If they can't attach themselves to what this animal's doing, and that only happens through habituation, then they have no concept or no desire or no uh, understanding of how when they waste water or they burn fossil fuels that they're actually affecting directly an animal like this. So an iconic species like Karula, who's habituated to having us around, makes a massive contribution to not only leopard conservation, but conservation of the environment at large. Now, Sandy, you're wondering if leopards have prides like lions. No, they don't. Um, they have, they live, they're completely solitary, Sandy. They live on their own, and you can see that, unless they've got youngsters. And what, she's still with her youngsters at the moment, but she's hunting for them. They're down sort of in the Mluamati drainage, which is phew, about two miles from here, and my friend Brent is with them now. So if you want to watch Brent on foot with Shongila, go to wildsafarilive.com. Otherwise, head across to Tristan. He's with some hippos. That's also on wildsafarilive.com. Otherwise, Google Safari Live, and you'll find the best... Uh, stream that works for you and then remember for the next two Sundays at 11 o'clock in the evening on Nacho Wild we'll be doing live 
for a TV broadcast throughout North America. For the rest of you, you can just watch us on the internet for free. Marvellous, the leopard is off. We're off too. I hope you'll join us on safari very soon. Thank <music> you.